Gamer hate is at an all-time high more than ever now because a lot of games are failing and the people that are promoting those games hate the gamers for not buying those games. And I think this movement is growing out of the crowd of people that are supporting the now modern-day gaming environment that have control over this field. The people like Anita Scar Season, Sweet Baby Inc., and all the other core members that develop this space into something that is a complete failure in the market and i think that's the thing that's driving this hate movement that is now consistently attacking the gamers at the highest level i'm talking about sony executives coming out and say don't buy our games if you don't believe in our philosophies and that's playing out all throughout the gaming industry at every level where every dev team, every voice actress is coming out and saying, we hate you gamers, don't play our games and let our games fail, which seems like a bad strategy if you want to make money. But unfortunately, that is not the goal of these new developers, not the goal of these voice actors and not the goal of these executives. They have a philosophy they want to spread and they don't care if the gaming industry burns down with that philosophy. We saw this happen with the comic book industry where it effectively burnt down at its peak where we had MCU movies making multiple billions of dollars while the comic book stores were all closing because of the lack of quality and the force ideology that was taking over the space. The same thing is happening here where former Sony chairman Sean Layden comes out and tells gamers don't buy our games if you don't believe in our philosophies. And this is someone that may still speak for Sony in some matters because I think a lot of the people at Sony still think this way even though he left the job this is a ideology that has grabbed hold of the industry so fiercely where people are willing to see the industry burn down if no one follows their political progressive ideas and this is playing out in front of all the gamers while the gamers are just saying we want a unique fun game we don't want to see the same game over and over again which is what we're seeing with the ghost of tsushima sequel which is doing the same thing we're seeing from assassin's creed shadows which is weird we're having a non-binary lesbian main characters okay we saw this seven times already we saw this in the last of us we saw this in forbidden we saw this in Horizon Zero Dawn. We're seeing this with Tomb Raider. How many lesbians do you want us to play as? I think this is the situation we're seeing play out in the gaming industry where gamers are saying, can you make something different, please? And they're saying, don't buy our games. You want anything different? No, we won't buy our games. And we're concerned with the company if you don't care about making a successful game because right now all they're doing is making unsuccessful games and this is playing out within the industry itself as you see concord come out bombing and having to be removed from all platforms because it was too expensive to even run the live servers that's how unprofitable it was it lost the company over 400 million dollars and now it has sony upgrading their prices on all content because they lost so much money with concord you can see this happen with dustborn a game that was government made spent over five million dollars only have eight players a day playing the game you lost all that money same thing with flintlock where nobody even knows this game and probably one person played it and now no one is playing it and that is a situation we're seeing play out throughout the industry where they're making games and the gamers are not buying those games anymore because we know what you're doing we know what character archetype you're making we already know all the tropes played out because you have no other tricks or any sense of creativity and i think that is the thing that is annoying gamers. Not the race, gender stuff, or anything else. We just know you're going to make the same game over and over again. And we didn't like it the first time. So make something different. But no, this is part of their ideology. And now their strategy is to attack the gamers. In much in the same way how we see Hollywood attack the fans of the new TV shows like Star Wars, Marvel, or any other property that has any diversity in it. The first line of defense for them is to accuse all the fan base of being racist homophobic fascist people that need to be removed from the fan base and everyone's gone now because everyone doesn't like your content and that is what we're seeing in the gaming industry nowadays where companies are going down for their lack of concern for the customer base and this is happening with ubisoft ubisoft is about to go bankrupt right now and they have to change their entire strategy they had to delay assassin's creed shadows because no one was buying the game no one cared about the game they said don't buy the game and the play 
players listen no one bought the game now they have to pause the release of the game they have to rework things they have to actually adjust to the customer base and if they don't adjust to the customer base you have a games company that is bankrupt that stock is crashing consistently down to nine dollars going even lower as time goes on because Everyone sees that this company doesn't care about profits anymore. It cares about sending a message and that's why the company's burning down. And this is in line with everyone they hired to work at the company. They don't care about profits. They want to send a message and they say that clearly in all the information they release. You see some sweet baby Inc. executives that work on consulting a lot of these game developers with inclusion, overall diversity, body positivity, all the DEI elements you need to see in gaming comes from them and their specific PowerPoint presentation says we want to burn down the gaming industry. We want to subvert expectations consistently taking a lot of these games and turning them into ideological soup that is of our making and that's how we see this gaming industry going where everything is changing into this ideological soup that is in line with progressive politics that gamers just don't care about and gamers are not concerned enough to buy your games about anything related to that especially if you don't have the creativity to make something with that ideology a fun and interesting topic because unfortunately they don't if they did have the skill people would still play their games but these are incompetent people that don't know anything about video games and in fact hate gaming so if you hire people that hate games you're going to get a bad result and that's what's happening all throughout the industry the sony the ubisoft all of them and this is the hater gamer movement that is growing still at this pace as consistently devs attack gamers that are supposed to be the fan base of their game same thing happened with dragon age veilguard where the former lead writer which is a talented writer he was there since dragon age origin so he has quality skills but we've seen talented people become deranged lunatics that are incapable of writing anymore just look at doctor who russell t davies made some of the best doctor who seasons of all time now he's making complete progressive woke slop right now that is unwatchable so i think the same thing has happened with the former lead writer of dragon age where he's now just a hack writer that doesn't know how to make anything beyond his gender preference right now and i think that's the situation we're seeing right now where the former writer comes out and said f you tour F you gamers, don't buy our games if you don't like it. And that's what we're going to see with Dragon Age Veilguard. The gamers are not going to buy your game. And I think this game has a better chance than Concord. I think it may still make enough money where it might break even because people still have some expectations that this game will be good and they'll try it out. But this game is going to be another failure where it's not going to make money and the studio is going to be in trouble. And I think Bioware is going to be in trouble for that. And this is the hater gamer movement that's growing right now where it's unstoppable and they want to see the entire gaming industry burn and the gamers are just watching saying okay we're not gonna buy your game we're just gonna play black myth wukong we're gonna play space marine 2 we're gonna play the games that are made for us and that is the situation developing as the video game industry burns other studios outside of the country and some even within the country are going to make all the money in the world. Just ask Black Myth Wukong. It made a billion dollars in a month making just a good game for the gamers. And I think that's what we're going to see consistently now in the future. New studios will rise and the gamer hater movement will grow even more fierce, I think, in attacking the gamers as they let it all burn down to the ground but you tell me what you think about the situation the gamer hater movement seems to be growing more fierce and aggressive as it fails upwards so what do you think will happen will they get even more aggressive with the next failure i think so but you leave your comments like comment share subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time